first, we need a paper plate. Put the rocks on the plate. Put another paper plate on top of it. Use the masking tape to secure the plate. and a square on my paper cut the shapes out the square and I will cut the triangle so cut the end of the straw like this so that there's a split Do the same at the other end. Can you see that there's a split? So now insert the triangle in one end and insert the square in the other end. the middle of the straw by folding it into half so here is the middle secure the arrow with a pin push the pin down through the eraser so here is our wind vane so next we need to mark the direction on the plates so here is north beifang here is South Nanfang Here is East Dongfang And here is West Sifang So now, how to measure the width? 
direction. So first, I will open my compass in my phone. And now I can see which direction is east, which direction is south, north and west. And put this at your balcony and see which direction did the wind blow every day. Next, I will show you how to make an anemometer you will need. First, we need a plate. Same to the wind vane, you will put the rocks on the plate. Cover the plate with another plate. On top of it, secure the two plates with a masking tape. We put the rocks on the plate so that it's sturdy. You can also use other plates that is heavy. Next, mark the center of the plate with a pen and make a hole with it. Place the hole, put the pencil into the hole and secure it with the clay. So push the push the pin through the cen center of the cross shaped cardboard like this. And push it through the eraser on top of the pencil. So you have done, spin it around, now staple, staple the cups at the end of the cardboard. Make the same with the other side. So same with the wind vane, you can actually uh, put this at your balcony and see how fast the wind blow. Is it slow or fast? The rain, when the wind is blowing fast, that means it's more likely to rain. The wind is slow, that means it's more likely to have a sunny day. Next, I will show you how to make rain gauge you will need. So first, we need to mark the line 
at the bottom of the water bottle. Can you see the line? So we mark it with marker pen. Make a line along the base. Next, we need to cut the top of the water bottles with a knife. Ask your parents for help. Be careful with the knife. Next, we need to mark the water bottle. Make a mark every 1 cm. One cm is equal to ten millimeter. So we will use millimeter to measure our our rain. So count it by ten. Ten. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, 100, 110, 120, 130. Next, put the rock until the line. Because the base of the water bottle is not even, that's why we need to put the rocks. And we need to fill in the water until the line 2. So that we can have an accurate measurement. Put the top of the water bottle in and put it outside and collect the rain.